Welcome guys, Hari Haran here and in this video we will find if MIUI 8.1 is the best ROM for you Eureka. Let's get started. Download the zip file from the description below and copy it to the SD card. And then long press the power button to get into the recovery mode. This should get you into TWRP. And then select wipe. Click advanced wipe and select Dalvik system cache and data. Then swipe to wipe. This will take a couple of minutes so wait. Once that is completed, as you can see from here, it's wipe successful. Go back and get back to the main screen and then click install and select the storage as SD card and then search for the zip file, the MIUI 8.1 file. Select that and then swipe to confirm flash. that is complete click on reboot and then system this should take about 10 to 15 minutes so don't panic if this stuck here it will obviously work I'll speed things up to save you some time And yes, it is booted into MIUI 8 and let me set this up. And now it's completely set up and this is the first boot, everything works fine. Mm. 
let me go to about the phone and show you the android version you can see it's running on android 5.0.2 which means it's still stuck in lollipop i wish it was marshmallow at least but this is what we get and it's on miui 8.1 stable rom as you can see this rom was taken from mi 4i actually which has the same snapdragon 615 so the performance shouldn't be an issue here the best part about miui at least to me is the theme support and it offers a lot of customization options and you get to download a lot of themes it's literally unlimited and you can customize your phone as good as you want i had a wish to make it something look like an iphone so i downloaded this theme and let's just apply that Once that is done, it looks something like this. All the icons are redesigned, the wallpaper is changed, and even look at the lock screen. It's almost similar to the older iOS. But all that comes at a cost. Some of the themes do crash at times as it just happened when I was recording this video. But a simple reboot will fix it, and since it's a soft reboot, all your apps will remain in the memory so nothing to worry about but it is still annoying that it happens very few times occasionally it works fine after that the general ui is very stable and it's smooth no issues there it feels as smooth as using a native xiaomi phone so the optimization is very good no lag, nothing like that. So in terms of performance, this ROM is really great. Apps open up quick and memory management was also decent enough, provided that we just have 2 gigs of RAM in this phone. All the MIUI animations work fine. And I really love this camera app that to the manual modes that Xiaomi usually offers in their phones is completely present here and it's useful at most cases. Just have a look at the samples which I've shot. Now let's get into the most important part, the battery backup. This was the only ROM with which I could get this amount of SOT and trust me, with this kind of usage, the battery backup is really good. The battery takes about 2 hours to charge completely. And on a regular weekday, it lasts for a day and no issues there. I use this for a week. And in my daily college usage, it was able to last for a complete day. I did not have to worry about charging it in between the classes. So for a regular day-to-day -day use, the battery backup is also good and the performance is also smooth. Dual SIM functionality works fine and Geo 4G also works here. With all that, I could easily say that this is the best ROM which I have tried till now on this phone. It has great customization, great performance and a decent amount of battery backup too. And so I would definitely recommend this to anyone watching this. That's pretty much it for this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.